friends and welcome to the November monthly mystery reveal. So this month I wanted to go with some very traditional um, colors. We went with Main Street Disneyland and Anna and Kristoff. So this is your dashboard. It says Merry Christmas up on the top and like I said I went with very traditional colors so hopefully this will go with whatever planner setup you have. You can tuck this into one of your one of your little areas there for your dashboard and it will go really well and then on the back you've got your thank you. Then um, I put the little ones off to the side. Then you've got the kit itself. So the kit Main pages here, you've got your two double boxes here. One of them is the gorgeous, this one is not split, so this is a full double box. This one is split down the middle, but the full double box, I couldn't split it. I wanted you to have like the full scene with Walt and Mickey in front of the castle with the fireworks and the trees that are all lit up on either side. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then you've got the um, soldiers, the toy soldiers. This is from the parade that happens down Main Street during Christmas time. And then you've just got a couple of collages here with like, um, little flat lay of clothing and look at that ornament how stinking adorable is that ornament and the stocking and you've got your camera and your hat so you're all ready for dress to go to Disneyland uh, at Christmas time and then here look at that backpack oh I love that backpack I need to find that backpack buy it and have it in my collection because I love that got your Mickey drink we get these guys are all over the place at Disneyland. Those are little gingerbread cookies and then your tree and then the double box here with the big tree um, that's right down in the center of Main Street. Then you got the gorgeous carriage. So a lot of people use this carriage when they get married at um, Disneyland or Disney World, but here's the carriage in front of the tree and then like I said, the flat lay. So these are your eight full boxes, which one of them is a double box. Then your ninth full box has Anna and Kristoff in front of the tree. Then look at how stinking adorable this washi is. This this washi reminds me of um, It's a Small World. I don't know. It just reminds me of It's a Small World. And so putting it here on the, um, it's actually part of like an, a sweater, Christmas sweater pattern, but I brought it in to just show you this part of it for the pattern for the washi because I thought it was fantastic. Then you've got your date covers. Then here is more of that pattern, but like all of it together in your boxes. And then you've got your... I did the same thing this time as I did last time, which was to match your your numbers with your actual date covers. Then you've got dividers, importance to do's, today's appointments, all that kind of stuff. Then your pattern boxes, your solid boxes, and then your monthly. So this is your monthly with the new monthly layout that's hopefully good for all planners, but you've got the full scene of Main Street and Disneyland. And then you've got the full with Walt and Mickey in front of the castle. Then you've got your months, your little things for the actual monthly, your sidebar, which is this gorgeous giant tree with the fireworks, and then some more boxes. And then we're into the foil. So this month's foil is very just Christmas themed and not necessarily Disney Christmas themed because I wanted you to be able to use it in anything and not just this kit. Um, so you've got the little girl and boy reindeer, got your overlay box with your um, Mickey heads and all that. So those are for your overlays. And then this little Mer Merry Christmas and it's got the Mickey head on the top. And then this one with Christmas wishes, eggnog, stocking, candy cane, elf, Santa Claus, oh Christmas tree, tinsel, reindeer, food, Jolly fun and um, home and family. So that's a really cute quote box. And then you've got your dividers, underlay. These are some lights that you can just kind of take off and decorate wherever you want. And then you've got your washi overlays. Then you've got your just regular overlays, which is all snowflakes underlays with their Mickey heads, two sets of those, and then your page with all the like little extras. So that is the foil. Now we'll go through the little things. So this is the extra, and there's three different boxes with three different skin tones that you can choose from with these. It's hard to see on here, but these nails are so stinking cute. They have holly, like a little holly leaf on each one of the nails. It's adorable. And then you've got your check boxes, your paint swatches, your glitter, your doodle boxes, your um, date covers, and your extra little things. So you've got tons and tons, like always, of this stuff. And le like always, this is going to be available for the entire, um, for like, it'll be in the, the monthly mystery selection for the month of November, and then it will move to the exclusive art set, and it will be a little bit different. You won't be able to get the um, glitter anymore. The monthly will be out of it. It's just a little bit of a different setup when it moves. So if you want this setup the way it is with the foil, um, the month of November is when to pick it up. If you are not in a hurry to get it, you want to pick it up later or whatever, you can get it for, it'll be in the month of December, it'll be in the exclusive art section. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do the monthly plan with me using this kit. 
I figured I would do it now with you guys here so that way when I do the actual plan with me it doesn't take me as long because I'll be able to have this already completed so you won't have to sit through a whole plan with me for the week I can spend more time on the actual week and then um, we'll do that the, let me zoom you out a little bit we'll do the monthly plan with me now so you can see and hopefully the lighting is better so I did do a little bit of changing up on my lighting just to see if it isn't so much glare when we do the monthly, but there is a lot more shadows. So I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna like this either. So we're just experimenting with the lighting to try to figure it out, but any overhead lighting that I do ends up having so much glare from the foil that it's really hard to see. But then when I do lights from the sides, it's all very shadowy. So I don't know, we'll see which, which ones you guys like better. So first things first, let's throw down our, so this time I have, a sidebar that can go either one. Sometimes the sidebar is completely opposite of the of the artwork on the top, but I think I like the sidebar with this one better. So I'm gonna put this one on this side and this one on this side. You see, now the way that I have the um, monthly set up is that you can put it on whatever side, whatever side makes you, makes you happy. It's not specific anymore and it should just fit perfectly. <laughs> started pulling too hard and I pulled it right out of my own hand so here's this side and of course I did it a little bit crooked but I'm not gonna fuss about it this time it's like crooked stickers are like the bane of my existence it happens every single time and it's usually on the side that I can't get my head under so I can't really see it as well so there's that and that and then we're going to put down the sidebar. This is like going to be a very fast plan with me because these monthlies go together so quickly and so easily and then you're done. You're like ready to go. Yep. If I could stick it down it would be fantastic. And try really hard not to mess it up and I did anyway. <laughs> I went a little on the oh well. I went a little bit sideways at the bottom, but it's all right. Oh no, I really messed that one up. Hang on. We're gonna we're gonna fix this because I can't have that wrinkle in there. I don't know what how that happened, but there's the sidebar. Then we've got so the month of December probably would help if I had a calendar so I could see what the first day of the month was. Let's pull up a calendar and see where we're at. Uh, the first is on a Thursday, so we've got a whole bunch of empty boxes right here that we can play with. So if the first is on a Thursday, I'm going to actually put that right now or else I'm going to forget. So this is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Way over here. So we're going to put the first right there. Just, that way I just I know what day it is. And then we can go through and put all of our days of the week down. So I do a Sunday start, but because these are all individually cut and separate, you can do a Sunday start, you can do a Monday start, whatever your preference is. I do Sunday just because it messes me up. Because most other calendars that you look at from your phone to wall calendars to whatever are Sunday starts. But then when we do our weekly spreads, we always start them on a Monday. So it kind of messes me up if I change things up. I'm so used to it being one way that I can't mess with it now. So these colors, I just love how this whole thing came out. It's so like the traditional, cause like right now I have a lot of kits in the shop and I've been working on a lot of kits that have non-traditional colors for Christmas. So I really am enjoying having actual like Christmas colors, like the red and the green and the gold. I'm gonna put this month right there. And I won't make you sit through all of my date dots, so I'll probably just kind of skip ahead right here. Okay, so all of the date dots are down, and now I can start putting down some of the other things that I have here. So I do have Christmas on here, so we can put that. But let's see, let's grab one of these. We have all of these little extra boxes that we can put in. So I wanna put this one here. And then the other one are just like pattern boxes. And so the pattern, can I do anything not crooked? Just, you can do it, come up. Just, just wanna not do one box crooked, just one. I still did it crooked, I give up. Anyway, you got pattern boxes here. And like I said, these are things that you can um, 
hopefully are pretty, like this one is a little bit bigger because it's a pattern. And I need to put it a little bit better. I think I have it way off base. There, that's better. Jeez. And then all of these guys, you can either put them down or not, but if you have all these like extra boxes here with nothing in them, I like to use them to like put notes in them. So stuff that I need to kind of remember for the month. Oh, I like this blue one with the Mickey heads. Let's do this one here. There. That's super cute. And then we have Christmas. So I'm going to put an actual red one here. And then I'm going to put my Christmas script in it. Which is where? Here it is. There's that. And then let me look at my clock, my thing again. I can tell you right now what the paydays are so I know what my work weeks are. So I have these where you've got payday and then pay um, bill pays are on here as well. So you can use either one if you have like flags that you want to use for that. But for me, here and here, and this is how I figure out my, my work schedule because I know I... Pay days is like the start of my big days off. So we have that. And then the rest of it, I've got a ton of stuff that I can put in here. But as always, I am not going to do it because, um, and then this month, I think I want to put December on this side there. I can put it up in the tree because I don't want to cover up any of that. Um, I'm going to leave most of this blank because I don't know if I'm going to actually do the TPC sale in the month of December or not. So I don't want to put anything in here if I'm not doing, oh, but what I can do is look at this. This is my stepdad's birthday. We can put the birthday in there because I have that as well. So let's put the birthday down. There, it's my stepdad's birthday. All right, so um, the rest of it I'm gonna leave blank, but you can see here I've got tons of stuff to use in here to put down, like I always do for all of the um, boxes to fill in all the little extras. If I am in the TPC sale, it will go in here. I think it's, I wanna say it's up here. I'm guessing it's probably the 8th to the 12th. I'm almost positive it's the 8th to the 12th. And then, you know, the holiday starts. So I don't know if I'm going to do the TPC sale or if this is going to be the time that I use to try to get a handle on my new machinery and get it up and running for the beginning of the first of the year. So I don't know yet. We'll see. But I will leave it right here um, just so you can see how it looks when it's laid down. And I will see you again with the actual plan with me for the, I think this one I'm going to use for the actual week of Christmas. So I'm going to be pre-planning way, way far ahead to the week of Christmas. So I will see you again in a little bit. Again, this goes um, live on the 1st. It will be in the November mystery section in the shop. And then it will move after the end of November to the exclusive art section, but it will be a little bit different format. So anyway, if you guys like this and you want to pick it up, I will leave everything linked down below. And again, it'll be available on the first. You guys have a fantastic day and I will see you again on the next one. Bye.